and now we're going to look at the third project, which was an entrepreneurial pitch. Remember, we're trying to say you need to make a video for crowdfunding or to get some investors. Now remember that the product is not really important. It's what we call a MacGuffin. It's just something fake inside the video. I didn't ask my groups to come up with a real product because I'd be, you know, a different class, right? So I'm just saying make up something silly or just use something that exists and try to make a video to sell this idea. So don't take these too serious. The idea is how do you produce the video and how do you make a video that doesn't have things that are too bad. Remember the point of this class, right? The point of this class is how to make video that's not too bad. It doesn't have really bad stuff in it, okay? So keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and watch our first video. Okay, uh, 30 seconds, not a lot of time. And obviously what they're trying to do is, the idea is there's a product for breakfast, something that's convenient and magical and unexpected. Again, remember, we don't want to focus on the product, we want to focus on the video. So in this case, they're trying to say, uh, there's something you can have in the morning that gets you going and it's a great surprise and it's fun. Okay, that's good. You can see that the video had a little bit of a problem and I think that what happened was they ran out of time and they couldn't really finish up the way they wanted to and they ended up with a beginning but not really an end to the video. Plus 30 seconds, it's hard for you to really fit it all together. That's a big challenge. In this case, I think they were trying to use a style of being a little bit funny. So they make things a little bit herky-jerky, we call it. Cut here, cut there really fast and something happens, something happens, and there's some funny sounds and some funny events. Let's take a look at it frame by frame or a bit by bit, and I can give you a bit of commentary at the same time. So at the beginning of the video, and the idea is something serious is going on, somebody's teaching you how to do something. I mean, we are students after all. And something happens, you get knocked in the eye. And who says that, you know, in the, if you have a bad day or you need something in the morning, you should have a good breakfast. I think uh, that's an English phrase, isn't it? Uh, breakfast makes your day or something. The morning, we go. We're going to have this product. So here's the product. And then we do show the product with some fun. So I think they're trying to go with this idea of having some fun with the product. You can see from the beginning, one thing they've avoided is they've avoided sound issues. Basically, they shot the video without sound or they just eliminated the sound later and all the sound's been put in in post-production so you have the the hit you have the sound over of the person talking you can see that that was done later and put in so it could be nice and clear and then i think that adds to this kind of fun feeling so they're trying to create a kind of fun comedy feeling they listed the product clearly and they show the product here hello Somebody likes the product, and this is what you get from the product. It's a surprise. Okay, so we are getting the view of the product and showing the product's benefit and how it's really great. So that, that's the idea of a pitch video. That's the way it works. So far, so good. Then we kind of change tone all of a sudden, and that's where things kind of fall down. We're having the music, and it was fun. And I think what they're trying to do here is tell you what to do now, right? So we kind of had the get the attention with some comedy. We kind of build the interest by saying, hey, you know, breakfast is important. And then we create the desire by saying, you know, look at these people, they're benefiting from it. Don't you want it? And here we're trying to define the action. I think it slowed down. The music changed and we don't quite know what to do here. So we're right back to the beginning. You can see they targeted 30 seconds, but I think they kind of uh, ran out of time for the 30 seconds. So yeah, hard. Scheduling, planning ahead, making sure the story fits in, and then your storyboard, and then executing on it. That all needs to happen, and when it doesn't happen, or it doesn't happen just right, you can fall apart. 
when you actually go to put it together. And I think that's kind of what happened here. All right, let's take a look at our second group. Okay, now this actually is a pretty good job, right? And again, we have our group here. These are the guys who like to be uh, funny. They were the ones that tried to use the horror metaphor, the horror genre, which I think actually didn't work out too good, but you got the idea they like to be playful. And in this video, that really shows through. And I think they've actually done a pretty good job here. Again, let's not worry about the product. That's a MacGuffin, that's a fake thing. But what they did is they said, what if the product were a pillow? and the pillow lets you sleep anywhere and it's just really great. So that sounds actually like an interesting idea. Sometimes I feel I could sleep anywhere even without a pillow. Let's go ahead and watch the video and we'll go over some of the details. So we begin with a series of short shots, very short shots showing us the product in use and how it kind of solves a problem. Even on the bus, you could just lay down and use this pillow. And I think what we have here is interesting because these guys, they love to use their filters, don't they? I think they did a good job of the filter in this case. So here we have nice, clean shot. The color's very normalized here. The color's nice. It's very normal. And then suddenly we get this decolorized kind of shot, this yellow tone. And the idea is it's reflecting, I think, what's in the guy's brain and his feeling and his dream. And here we have him just laying down on a pole and he can fall down and sleep. And again, he's back to his dream where he's really comfortable. And here's somebody just lying on the ground sleeping and people avoid him. He's so comfortable. And other people look at you and think you're kind of weird. So I think what they're trying to set up here is this idea of reality and the product brings you into an alternate reality, an alternate world of comfort and dreams and just feeling great. So it's showing you that inner feeling of the person. Even the bus has a sudden stop, which is kind of funny because if you take buses a lot, like many people in Asia do, you always know that jerk from it stopping, you feel like you're gonna, everybody's going to fall down. Well, if you've got this product, you don't need to worry because you can fall down on the product and you can actually just fall right asleep. And they give it a name, a cute name, Sleeping Beauty. Sleep anywhere, sleep anytime. And here's the price, which defines the action. All right, you know what? I think that's an excellent, excellent job. The only problem is using that metaphor of the in your alternate reality. They did use the coloration, which was pretty cool, but it does get mixed up a bit where you're not really sure where are they right now, what's going on. After you watch it a couple times, though, I think the message becomes clear. And you do have that kind of uh, really happy face he has. So you know he's enjoying something, right? I mean, but he's missing the pillow, right? So it's a little bit confusing the message. Where's the pillow there? Well, it's because it's in his alternate reality. It's in his dream there. But I kind of get the idea. So. 30 seconds, right? I think they've done a pretty good job and the music does a good job too. And that kind of um, operatic singing building up to a, a kind of a climax. So we have our hero at the beginning. He goes through a process and at the end he's happy because he's discovered this product works for him. So it follows a nice little narrative, 30 seconds, and it sells a product, doesn't it? That is not a real product. But boy, when I look at the video, I'm kind of like, hmm, if I could just use a pillow and lay down anywhere and sleep and feel like this guy feels, that would be great. So again, I think just getting a video done is not an easy thing to accomplish. And I think these guys have done a good job. They avoided issues of sound by doing what? Not having sound inside there. There's no dialogue going on. It's all show, don't tell and they get to the end and they use the music instead of using the sound.
probably they've discovered like we all do when we go to shoot video unless you've got a crew and really dedicated people who know what they're doing capturing good sound can be really hard so they avoid the problem very creative all right so i hope that if you have a chance to sell a product or you know someone you can make a good video a pitch video to help them get funding for their product good luck